Hey guys, we just got to the Manatee County Fairgrounds for Morgan's speech. Daddy and her are checking in. Hudson is with Grandma and Papa, so they're coming um, in time for the speeches, but um, we're just here at the beautiful Manatee uh, Fairgrounds. There's just some amazing gardens, so just staying in the sun because it's kind of cold in the air conditioning, um, but looking forward to see Morgan uh, do her speech today, and we'll see you guys then. Looks like Hudson got here. Our next speech will be from Morgan Baker from Tara Elementary on giraffes. Have you ever been on a safari? Well, I have when I was four years old, and our family visited Lazy Five Ranch. And in that day, I feasted my eyes on this long neck creature called a giraffe, and it was one of the most exhilarating days of my life. From that day on, I've been obsessed with giraffes, so it was no surprise I just had to learn more about them. Because of that, I learned so much more than I expected. So, Today I'll share some facts you may not know about them. Did you know giraffes are the tallest mammal on the planet? This is thanks to their long necks and towering legs. You might be wondering how tall they make it. They can be up to 18 feet 7 inches tall. If you compare that to Salt and Cousin, who holds a genus world record for the tallest living male at 8 foot 3 inches, you'd think Cousin is pretty short because that means giraffes are 10 feet and 4 inches taller than Cousin. However, the average human is around 6 feet tall. So that means giraffes are super tall. This next fact I think is just crazy. Giraffes only need about five to 30 minutes of sleep and a 24 hour period. As you usually know, us humans need about eight hours of sleep each day. Giraffes actually feed 16 to 20 hours a day. So basically, they're just snacking all day. <laughs> they also spend most of their time standing up, even while sleeping and giving birth. I don't know about you, but I could not sleep standing up. Another interesting fact about giraffes is that their spots are much like human fingerprints. No two individual giraffes have the same exact pattern. The giraffe spots are a unique identifier to help other giraffes recognize who's a part of their family. Could you imagine if we use our fingerprints to identify our family members? One of the most important things about giraffes is that they keep our environment balanced. This is because they consume foliage such as trees and leaves which is often out of reach for other species, which in turn stimulates new plant growth, health of pollination, and seed distribution. Recently, science has shown that a lot of different species of giraffes have been endangered or critically endangered. Giraffe populations have declined by 30% in the last three decades. Now, if one day giraffes become extinct, our ecosystem will not be balanced. Now that would be bad. So let us get to the point where giraffes are not endangered anymore and continue to protect them. In conclusion, there's a lot to learn about giraffes than you may not have expected, like how tall they make it, their unique sleeping habits, how their spots up them, and what they do for our environment. Hudson wanted to show you these beautiful gardens. We are waiting for the judges to tell us the results. This is my favorite one over here. There were plenty of amazing speeches, so we're just trying to waste some time. Look at that one over there. Let's look over here, guys. Look at all of this. Look at the sunflowers up there. Oh, yeah. They're kind of dying, but there's other ones over there. Yeah, sunflowers are Aunt Look Mandy's this favorite. This is my favorite. Ooh. Love and Peace Hybrid Tea. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's this so one pretty. Want one. And then my second favorite is probably the pumpkin patch one because this smells so good. Then we have this one that hasn't formed yet, this one that has a good as gold leaves. Okay, and oh, then there's we just have a little bud, huh? A little bud starting to grow. Then we have this beautiful one right here. This one. This one. But it's not good. Yeah, let's go back this way, bud. Well, we want to show them the big sunflower, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was big ones over there. Oh, I see. Look at how beautiful. And then there's also some pretty ones in the front row. Oh, they're back. So, sounds like the judges are back. We better get back over there, buddy. We gotta run. 
<laughs> hey guys, we're just waiting to see. Morgan did her speech. How do you feel? Good. There's um, how many? Like 18 kids. Lots of good speeches today. Pretty awesome. So we're just waiting to see what happened in between. But we're super proud of our girl. She did a great job. And we'll see. No matter what, we're super proud, right? Yeah. All right. We have Morgan Baker from Terra We made it home from the speech contest. She didn't place first, second, or third, but she did get this awesome certificate and a very cool pin um, from 4-H in Florida. So needless to say, an amazing job. We are so proud of her. Um, not only did she win her class speech, but then she won all of fifth grade, and then she beat all the fourth and fifth graders in her school to take on all the other schools in Manatee County. So even if she didn't place first, second, or third, we are so proud of you. Thank you. Any last words for the fans? Well, sometimes things go your way and sometimes things don't. You proud of yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you should be very proud of yourself. All right, guys, be sure to keep checking in with us, and we will see you on the flip side, right? Yep.